New theory. Forget... Forget... The whole nuclear thing. I... I, I don't know. I... Every time I try to start using the nuclear thing, it just it just doesn't feel right to me. Okay, so what have, what have you guys said? At least no Kerbal's died. Yes, risk mitigation. <laughs> um, uh, we are not trying again with more struts. I'm on hard career. There's no uh, F5. That's correct. Well, if 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 we had uh, big liquid fuel tanks, uh, I think it'd be better. But uh, since we don't have big liquid fuel tanks, and dumping the liquid fuel out of these tanks is not efficient, uh, you can calculate it out, but these have uh, smaller structural weight than trying to dump the oxidizer out of these, then uh, yeah. But I, I think I'm going to be satisfied with two stages. Uh, let, let's build it straight up and skip the nuclear thing, because I, I still don't think the nuclear thing is worth it. Nuke is still useful, it's just not the engine to rule them all. I don't know, I haven't found a good... I, I, I don't trust it. it. If it was a 2.5 meter engine, I think I, I'd be happy with it. But it's too long, fragile, the fairings can't have anything around them. Uh, at least I don't feel safe having anything around the fairings. Um, the heat is an issue. And it just goes on and on, so I don't know. I am not sanguine about the whole nuke thing. Do I have the Mark II jet fuel tanks? Mark II jet fuel tanks, which uh, to Mark II adapter. These uh, liquid fuel. Oh, these are good. There's there yeah they're good. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, that's a good ratio. But not a good form factor for this. Not really a good... Unless we have the... We do have the tricoupler. But we don't have the one that I want. I want the flat one. Not the one that looks like this. I want a tricoupler that uh, will attach to the 2.5 meters. What's with that heat shield? No decoupler... What? Oh, right. Good point. What? Wait a minute. These... Oh, these don't have decouplers either. Crud. Can I skip the... De uh, can I skip the heat shield, please? I guess not. Why don't the heat shields have decouplers? I thought they would. Hold on. The the the, 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 the song is getting to me. Okay, better. Okay. I swear the poodle's enough of a heat shield. I'm gonna just I'm gonna slum it out and uh, have the poodle as the heat shield. I can't deal with this. Uh, it's lathe. We're, I'm a little bit worried about lathe. Because the last few times we've headed around lathe, we've had explosions. Sorry, we're checking all this out again, but at least now I have Kerbal Engineer. It's just Kerbal Engineer and ambient light adjustment that I've added for those just joining. We are trying to do the tourist contract to all these places around Jewel. Lots of Jewel stuff. And... This is looking okay. Let's get lots and lots of struts on this. Have I got enough struts is more what I'm worried about than... Uh, but okay, if you want a heat shield, fine. We'll put a heat shield, jeez. But only a 2.5 meter one. Yeah. So uh, let's have a short decoupler. Not a big decoupler. One of these. Is that on the right node? I think so. And very little ablator. There. Is NASA satisfied now?
Calculating everything was my thing. Yeah, it is still my thing, but I'm worried that it might be a little bit tedious for people watching. You know, my thing might not be everybody else's thing. I have to understand this as a potential... Whoa, don't do that. A potential entertainer, right? No, come on. S stick on there. Uh-oh. Why you no stick to this tank? Okay. Now I'm thinking... Is this good enough to send Kerbals up on? I think we'll do the crew transfer with the fuel as before. Ditch the heat shield. <laughs> no, we're going with it now. It's fine. It's within our uh, our abilities. Let's double check our Delta V to make sure everything is kosher. I wonder if we even have a vehicle capable of... Uh, sending up this much fuel. Oh, I might have an idea. Will that be very... it's gonna be very heavy. Oh, what happened to our Verners? I'm gonna slap the Verners back on and hopefully it'll help us keep balance too. Okay, I think this is... wait, I forgot the solar panels. We're going to have to orient so that the forward is facing the sun, I think. Eh, you're clipping a bit. I guess we'll put him on the outside. Now we've got the action groups. Now, if I put any of the always open ones, they're just gonna fall off. Okay, any objections? I think we're going to try and launch this. 202,000 again. If we fail this, we're going to have to go for smaller scale missions here. Classic rock. Well, again, I want to be able to upload to YouTube as well uh, the edited videos of all this. So, classic rock is is just going to get me into a lot of trouble, unfortunately. Uh, you know what? There will be streams where I'm not going to plan on uploading to YouTube, like the cinematic streams. The cinematic streams I'm not going to be uploading to YouTube. And for those, I can play Classic Rock. We can go there. Okay, Thrall is up, SAS is on. No, this is not the Taurus B. The Taurus B is much larger. This is a smaller version of the Taurus B, if you will. This is our unflippable launch vehicle. Oh crud, oh crud, oh f forget SAS. Uh, yep. This rocket can't fly with SAS. It's just not a good idea. Okay, I'm really not gonna look at chat this time. I, I, I was lying last time. Try to reset to the top of the prograde vector, but I think it just wants to go down the middle, so I'm just gonna let it. Uh oh, not the bottom, not the bottom of the prograde vector. Come on. Shoot. Uh, that's an overcorrection.
Oh, stick prograde, man, stick prograde. I think we should drop fairing now. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Don't tilt down. Don't tilt down. Holy mackerel. Tone down here. Tone down. Calm down. Oh, I should have the... Oh, uh, I guess to have the Kerbal Engineer Redux readout up here, we need the part. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, you silly little rocket? It hasn't flipped yet, it's just a little bit of a deviation. The mission is complicated. Uh, the mission is Liadolin wants to go suborbital on Bop, suborbital on Val, and orbit around Leif. Kerberry wants to land on Bop, suborbital on Jewel, fly by Val. Stelsi wants to fly by Jewel, orbit around Jewel, and orbit around Leif. That is our mission. Tourists. Okay, that's a sufficient orbit. Alright, let's get our mission going. Let's get the solar panels out. We've got the controller in there. Got two controllers, in fact. So, uh, yep, off it goes. Looks like a reasonable mission with very little reaction wheel control. Okay, but back to our launcher. We've got a lot of fuel in this. Maybe I should land, try and land long then. Oh, I should have put the hex on here so I could hold retrograde. Oh well. Uh, you got a contract to give your tourists a suborbital trip to the sun. I wouldn't have taken that contract. <laughs> you know, some of these space tourists, they have really unreasonable demands. You gotta make them suborbital, then pull them up to save them. Yeah, but uh, that's a lot of Delta V and a lot of tediousness. Too bad you can't fulfill the contract when it's while it's suborbital and leave them alone afterwards. That's mean. Okay, I think we might be falling short. Again. Hold on, we need more dramatic music. This is crazy. Why am I playing this stuff here? Come on. Hold on, I like this one. Not deadly re-entry, uh, just regular re-entry. Sorry. No, I'm not rolling on purpose. Oh, I, I should shut. It's probably SAS fooling around. Wait, right this way? Yeah. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, things are blowing up. I believe that is the ablation of the fins. Entirely standard, of course. 
This might be too loud over my voice. Just the winglet. I don't like this stuff getting overheated though. That is not nominal. Hey Drone Zone! It is going okay as long as I can land this safely because otherwise it's going to cost me a lot of credits. Uh, funds. Here we go, first parachute deployment. Anyway, uh, one reason I didn't slow myself down is because the KSC is still ahead. I'm landing short of the KSC, not long. Second parachute deployment, gear down. We've got a little bit of slope here. Slow down a bit. Parachute deployment is full. Okay. Looking good. We've got RCS on, so the Verners are active. But this is a bad slope. I mean, at least over here it is. Here it might not be so bad. Looking okay. We're still pretty high, are we? Or not? Shoot, we're still pretty high. Okay, we are recoverable. No, no, no. Uh, we'll get some decent amount back. 120,000 funds. So, uh, we launched 200,000 funds. Uh, this launcher back 120,000. We could have done better if we got closer to KSC, but uh, we're okay. Alright, that part done. Now, uh, show the tech tree? Sure. This is where I'm at on the tech tree. So all we need is fuel. So happens that that's not too hard. Uh, we know exactly what tanks we need. We just need these. Like that. We could leave this in orbit and have them come back down on it. Or leave it in orbit so things can come back down. I guess that's not a bad idea. We don't need a lander. Uh, but the oh, the lander is the core part. Okay, hold on. Um, what do we want as a core part? Probably this pod. So, pod. Right. Then again, having it short is sort of nice. Hey, do you guys... I I'm wondering how this is going to do if we don't have a fairing on. Any any interest in that? If we dump the fairing? You never try without a fairing. It'll be okay, wait until uh, 14 kilometers before sound barrier. Uh, no, we're gonna punch right through the sound barrier long before 14 kilometers. Drag will eat it when... Well, I get the feeling that uh, with the crew... Uh, well, the, with the tourists in there, I shouldn't attempt it like that. Hey, music. Where are you? Um, let's try that bunch. Yeah, we're, we're carrying crew, so... Uh, we're carrying the tourists, so let's be safe. Okay, you always uh, ditch the bomb part sooner and make the fairings longer, like as soon as you ditch the fairings you shouldn't be carrying around the part the fairing is rooted to. 
Well, this is more like how fairings actually work, so I don't know. Um, remove the... F yeah. I'll, I'll go with this for now. We'll, we'll experiment later on when we don't have other things going on. So, uh, let me get my tourists in. Okay. So we've got enough fuel. Oh, no we don't. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, maybe I should add the stupid fuel in. Oh, I don't have RCS. Silly me. I get the strange feeling that this launcher is not going to be happy. Well, anyway, we'll see. But uh, yeah, 63 tons is too much. I don't know if we're even going to get the target filled. We need boosters. No, I haven't unlocked the parts to make the Taurus B, otherwise that'd be a logical thing to do. That would be much better to send up than this. Anyway, I need some uh, RCS. Just two of these tanks. Two! Two, two, two! Well, I'll change the symmetry over here. Not that. Mm, three? No, two. And uh, let's have four RCS ports only. Uh, just as at SRBs should increase payload 50 to 60 percent. Uh, where should I add the SRBs, Miko? Uh, I'm missing like all of the 3.75 meter parts for for the Taurus B, Arthur. I don't have any of the uh, 3.75 meter parts. I don't even think I have the engines, the the core engine. I don't have under the main sails. No, I don't think so. Both sides of each leg. All right. We will do this thing. We will we will do this thing with the SRBs. And I'll do it quickly because I've only got like seven minutes left until I have to go and do something else. But we'll launch this. We will launch this. Uh, I assume you want the biggest SRBs. Yes, Miko? We'll light everything at once, but we'll uh, tone back the mainsails afterwards. We just need them for maneuvering. Pretty healthy thrust to weight ratio. Okay, how do I put this, guys? The lives of these tourists are in your hand with these SRBs. I've not tested this thing with SRBs. Do you want to do anything else to ensure the safety of these tourists? Tourist safety here. Anything else I should try to add to this to make sure that I've put one strut between the boosters and the main stack. Are we good? Strut between the boosters and the fairing. No, we can't connect to the fairing. There are chutes. Oh, on the boosters, no. Launch escape system. Um, we, we, we do not have a launch escape system. And we can't have a launch escape system. So, no LEGO clone. No launch escape system. Oh, I don't have any launch clamps. Um, let's go before things blow up. Okay, I'm just gonna take SAS off to turn. Just cuz. We are not turning. We're not turning. Oh, wow. Come on. Come on, baby. We've got a lot of TWR right now. I'm throttling down the mainsails. It's rolled a bit. And okay, let me fix that. <sighs> the 
Okay, Thrall up and Sep. Sep is good. Last time fearing separation, even at a relatively great height, caused some nasty deviations in our trajectory. So I don't know about that this time. Okay, Thrall up. Fairing set. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh wow! Oh, okay, didn't see that. And and the fairing base does seem to like to not cooperate. Oh, our our, uh, our reaction wheel control is not turning this thing. Gonna have to use engine gimbling. Have I tried building the fairings after I've placed the struts? No. Is that supposed to be something we can do? Is that a thing? Look at the compression on this. It's also the service bay. The service bay, the fairing base, and the reaction wheel all conspire to make this horrible, horrible thing wiggle. Nowhere near where I need to be here. I do not have locked tanks. No, I don't have locked. Do I? No, it always unlocks my tanks. No, we're we're all expended. As usual, it's the fuel up here that's left over. You want to be a space tourist? Well, probably avoid me building your rocket in that case. Okay, we are in orbit, but I'm out of time, folks. So it made it. It's got fuel to deorbit, but I don't have time to actually do the rendezvous. So. Music cut. Along with laughing gas, yes. Um, amazing oxidizer, yes. Hydrogen peroxide is amazing oxidizer. Nitrous oxide is also a great uh, RCS fuel. Uh, it can be a mod propellant. All right. So uh, next time we'll find out. Uh, so next time will be Saturday probably, and we'll find out how this all turns out. We've got a lot to do. All right. So, uh, yep, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did enjoy the stream, please do follow. And I'll see you on Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 8 p.m. GMT. And, yeah, so have a good evening.